March 20th, 2018, students heard the sound of gunshots inside the halls of a St. Mary's County school. We were crying, we were praying, and the teachers, they were scared also because they had children in the building. As the Great Mills High School campus experienced a state of chaos, students across the county at Chopticon High School went into a state of confusion. All the kids started freaking out and they were like, oh my gosh, there was a shooting. I was like, no way, not in this county. Police would soon learn a 17-year-old boy opened fire, killing 16-year-old Jalen Willie. That boy then turned the gun on himself during a confrontation with a school resource officer. Another teen was also hurt in the shooting. It all happened within a matter of minutes, but the memories of that day will last a lifetime. I didn't know how to feel. Like, I, I just didn't want to f comprehend it. Chopticon sophomore class vice president Jamie Smith knew she wanted to find a way to unite behind their neighbors at Great Mills. I saw like a green shirt and then it just, the idea just came to me and then I made it. Smith and class president Blair Verlandingham created the We Are All Great Mills campaign. They're setting aside their own school colors and selling t-shirts in the Great Mills green and gold. So far they've raised more than $4,000 they say will go towards funding school security for all St. Mary's County public schools to show that we are uniting with Great Mills and that we support them. I think it shows like how like tight knit we are and how like strong we are and we are going to get through this together and we're not nobody is alone not in this county. They are strong and they are going to get stronger and the entire St. Mary's County community is supporting the effort with signs that read we are Great Mills. The shirts run $20 and are for sale through Monday and the girls plan to wear them on May 18th to honor Great Mills High School. That's the Friday before the day that'll mark two months to that deadly tragedy and we posted the link on our website WBALTV.com.